I've seen a lot of swimming pools in my day, thousands and thousands, worked on all kinds of different things and every different scenario and combination of equipment you could possibly imagine. Water chemistry, basic water care, basic swimming pool care, boils down to just a handful of things. Now, some people like to get into the minutia of details and charts and graphs and keeping track of everything. I have a really simple solution for water chemistry care. Run the pump a lot longer than you think you're supposed to, if possible 24 hours a day. I know not, not everyone in the country can you do that for energy reasons and all of that, which the beauty of, of the uh, variable speed pumps is you can keep them running at really low cost. Circulating water stays a lot cleaner than stagnant water, number one. Most pools still are chlorine. Now we can get into all the exotic other options, but if, it, if you've got a chlorine pool, maintain one, one and a half parts per million of chlorine, shock it every two weeks, get that up to five or six parts per million every couple weeks, the pool will always stay clean. Clarifiers. Get a good quality clarifier. Don't buy the cheapest water clarifier on the market. Buy a decent, it's called a polymer coagulant, and it collects, when, when algae builds up in the pool, the real fine particles, filter right through and they don't get caught in the filter, they don't get trapped because they're so fine, they get through the sand, they get through the through the diatomaceous earth, they get through the cartridge filter. A good quality polymer coagulant collects that stuff up into large, large enough chunks that it'll take it out in the filter. And then a good algicide, same thing. Not nearly as critical as, as chlorine and water clarifier, but having a good algicide, using it every couple weeks or as recommended but I, to me the, my recommendation is just follow a few basic steps and it would be adding a little algicide every couple weeks adding a and the off weeks maybe every other the opposite weeks would be adding some water clarifier keeping your chlorine level up but most importantly keep the pool running as long as possible and you won't have the problems problems always arise when someone decides that they want to run their pump six hours instead of 12 hours a day because they think it's going to be cheaper. Ultimately, it's way more expensive because the chemical cost is outrageous. Uh, so that's that's the big one we see. The other one is, I went out of town, no one took care of the pool for a week. Well, that's pretty obvious that's going to happen. But what you always do is go back to using chlorine in large enough quantities to kill all of the organics in the water and then take care of them and, and filter them out. The other big thing from a service end that I don't think we do nearly enough in our industry is change the sand in the filter. So if we're, if the majority of the industry, which I still believe the majority is using sand filters, most most areas of the country, when you first put sand in a filter, it takes time. It, it's actually growing in efficiency for the first couple of years, because the sand is settling in and all the debris is settling in layers. And if you actually could look at this uh, a sand filter a, a cutaway you would see different layers of debris and hair gets a little deeper down than the leaves get in there but it's becoming more efficient over the first couple of years but then at some point three to five years down the road you get too much debris too much debris trap in there creates almost a barrier at the top the water hits the top of the filter and runs down the side it's called channeling and usually it's not individual channels that people talk about it's usually running right down the sides of the filter between the sand and the housing of the filter back into the collector tubes and back into the pool. Change that sand, run it longer, chlorine one and one and a half parts per million, shock every two weeks, use some algicide and use some water clarifier, never have a problem. Those are the standard things. Now you can then get into phosphates in the water and get into all the, uh, the, the pH bounce ups and downs and there's going to be some of that for sure. Um, cyanuric acids and making sure your stabilizer, there's some stabilizer that helps keep the chlorine in the water. There's some of those things that have to, be, have to be taken care of, but they're not all the time. The basic all the time ones, as long as you do those, you won't have any problems at all.